Facts about the Bactrian camel for kids and students. 1. The Bactrian camel. Introduction. Large beasts with two humps on their backs are called Bactrian camels. The Bactrian camel and the wild Bactrian camel are two species that are related to one another. Man has employed Bactrian camels for thousands of years as both a mode of transportation and a source of food. It was formerly believed that there were only one species of Bactrian camel and that stray domestic animals were connected to wild Bactrians. However, experts now think that before camels were domesticated, the two species split, became different. Wild Bactrian camels can drink water with very high salt content and are a little bit smaller and thinner than domesticated Bactrians. Wild Bactrian camels are at grave risk of extinction. They can be found in China's Daklamakan Desert and Mongolia's Gobi Desert. 2. The Camel Family The genus Camelus includes both types of Bactrian camels. A group of closely related creatures is called a genus. The dromedary, which only has one hump, is the third animal in this group. Any of the three species of the genus Camelus are referred to as camels. The Camelidae family includes three camels. Camelids are the name for members of this family. This family also includes llamas, alpacas, vicus, and guanacos. The even toed ungulates, or artiodactyla, are a wider group of hoofed animals that includes camelids. 3. What is the appearance of a Bactrian camel? The coats of Bactrian camels are thick, shaggy, and brown in color. The two-layer garment serves as protection against the desert's chilly evenings and stifling afternoon heat. The legs of a Bactrian camel are long and slender. Bactrian camels walk by simultaneously moving their front and back legs on the same side of the body. Pacing is the name for this. Bactrian camels have upward curving necks and divided upper lips. Their strong teeth and lips enable them to consume harsh and prickly desert plants. 4. Adaptations of the Bactrian camel to desert conditions the Bactrian camel has a variety of adaptations that enable it to survive in harsh desert environments. They offer defense against the sand that is whirled up during a sandstorm thanks to their long eyelashes and sealable noses. Additionally, Bactrian camels have translucent third eyelids that are utilized to remove sand from the eyes. Bactrian camels can walk across the sand without sinking because of their large, hard feet. The ability of Bactrian camels to go for extended periods of time without drinking is well known but it's a popular misconception that a camel's humps are where water is kept. Actually, the humps don't hold water, instead, they store energy in the form of fat. This fat would make the camel overheat if it were distributed evenly across the body. Camels seldom ever perspire. They inhale air, which is then trapped in their noses and reabsorbed. Very little water is also included in a camel's waste output. Blood cells in dromedary and bactrian camels are oval, not spherical. This it is believed, permits the cells to move through the blood that is thick and deficient in water. Camels have a water loss capacity of 25% of their body weight. Even much less than that would be lethal for people. Camels can consume a lot of water quickly, they have been seen to consume 27 gallons, 102 liters, in less than 10 minutes. A slender, malnourished Bactrian will swiftly expand back to its usual size after drinking. 5. Bactrian Camel Diet Although they will eat carrion if there is no other food available, Bactrian camels are mostly herbivorous animals. Their mouthpieces and digestive systems can handle a variety of plants. One of the rare animals that can effectively consume snow in order to gain water is the Bactrian camel. Similar to cows, camels regurgitate food and rechew it in order to get all of its nutritional content. Cut is the term for semi-digested, regurgitated food. 6. Bactrian camel facts, family and lifestyle. Diurnal Bactrian camels, active during the day. They reside in migratory at water holes, and smaller herds of 6 to 30 animals assemble to form bigger herds of up to 100 animals. A solitary male camel is in charge of the herds. Males compete for access to harems of females throughout the breeding season. The gestation period, during which a woman bears a kid, lasts 13 months. The newborn Bactrian camels are big and start walking right away. They stay with their mother for numerous years after being fed by her for about 18 months. 7. The Bactrian Camel Is it endangered? There is no threat to the domestic Bactrian Camel. The wild Bactrian Camel, on the other hand, is at grave risk of going extinct. There are believed to be 950 wild Bactrian Camels left, and their numbers are declining. 
the native habitat of wild Bactrian camels is being converted into livestock farms and hazardous mines and they are hunted for food and recreation. Wolves also occasionally prey on wild Bactrian camels.